Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce thistle and whistle. So these words have a lot of letters, but not so many sounds. In thistle, we actually just have four sounds. The TH sound, th, letter I says I, the I sound. Then we have a S sound and an L sound. So we have some silent letters here. Uh, you can think about it's, even though it looks like the word this, we have a voiceless th, no vibration here for the start of this word. So not thistle, but rather thistle, thistle. And then our T is silent, our E at the end is silent, and the L sound is a dark L. So you may have a little bit of a schwa sound between the S and the L. I've written that for you here with letter U, but really I'm moving as quickly as I can from S to L with almost no vowel in between. Sol, thistle. The first syllable is stressed, so th is long and sol is short and reduced. Um, you can think of a word like thick to help you remember the vowel sounds and the, the first sound, so you can think about a thick thistle, if that helps you. And then the other challenge here is that for many people doing a th and a s in close succession like this can be challenging. Even for native speakers, thistle is a bit of a tongue twister. Twister. So you may just want to try thistle, thistle, thistle. Go slowly, say the th sound separately and the s sound separately. And just be patient with yourself if it's difficult to put those two sounds together. While we're at it, we'll talk about the word whistle because it has a very similar spelling. The second part of the word is the same and the letters WH just say the W sound. So again, silent letters here. Um, we can um, think about the word wish to help us with this. It has the same beginning sounds. I wish for a whistle. Uh, same thing with first syllable stress, long W sound and short reduced soul. Whistle. Once you can say thistle and whistle by themselves, don't forget to try practicing them in some short phrases, just because you may master the word, but then you go to use it and it doesn't come out correctly or you stumble over the word. If you've practiced in some phrases, it's more likely you'll be able to use it in conversational speech more easily. So for example, I was on a walk and I saw some thistle. Um, the thistle has some sharp thorns. Um, he likes to whistle in the shower. Um, I heard the train whistle from far away. Thanks for watching this video, for your comments and suggestions, for liking and sharing. I appreciate all the support you give the channel. If you have a request you'd like to see me cover in the Word of the Day series or in any of our other playlists, feel free to leave a comment on this video or any of my videos, and I'll add your word to my list to cover in a future class. Often I may have already covered your word and I'm happy to send you the link so you can find that video. If you need more help for the sounds in thistle and whistle or any of the sounds of English, check out our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. It's a great way to build a strong foundation to pronounce any word you like confidently and easily in American English. That's our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. I'm looking forward to seeing you in tomorrow's Word of the Day class as well as Saturday. I hope you can join me for our live question and answer class. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.